Hi, good morning. Today's topic of discussion is exports through LUT bond under goods and service tax. When goods are supplied outside the country, it is called as exports. When recording exports in Teddy Prime, you can record shipping details in the invoice for tracking. Exports can be of different natures. Here is a list of exports with their respective tax applicability. Number one is taxable exports. In case of taxable exports, integrated tax shall be applicable. In case of exempt exports, no tax will be applicable. Even under exempt under LUT bond, bond none, no tax shall be applicable. This export is applicable when accompanied by a letter of undertaking from the department for export of goods without the payment of duty. Deemed exports. Deemed exports refers to those transactions in which the supplied goods do not leave the country and payment is received in the country. In short, the supply and manufacture of goods takes place within India and it is a supply of goods to the end exporters. The first topic is exports through LUT and bond. Exports through LUT slash bond is applicable when you have signed up a letter of undertaking with the department for the export of goods without the payment of duty. Now I'll show you how we are going to do the exports under LUT bond practical entry under sales voucher in GST. First of all, I'll go to vouchers. Here, my sales voucher has been opened now. On 2nd August, Mukta Traders exported the following goods to Lalu Trader. Exported goods to Lalu Trader Singapore under LUD. Now, you can see that the Mukta Traders are dealing with Lalu Traders and Lalu Traders belongs to Singapore. So, here what we are going to do. First of all, we will add reference number 6 slash MT. Then it will be, the date will be 2nd August. 2nd August. Then party account name I'll create over here. Lanu, Lanu Traders. Under Sundry Data. Here what I'm going to do, I need to change the country. I'll change the country to Singapore. And what you can see that. Well, like uh, the, the, the time I change the country from India to Singapore, uh, all the other things will be exempted. Here I need to create a ledger of sales export. Sales export ledger I will create over here under sales account. And here I will alter and uh, set GST details to yes. I am selling HP laser printer. HP laser printer. Uh, HSN code is 00987 Alright. Now the nature of transaction I will uh, select over here is. Sales to. SEZ, sorry, exports LUT slash bond. This will be my nature of transaction. I will select it. And here I will select the type of supplier's goods. And that's it. Now I will select here HP laser printer. Quantity is 4. At the rate 6500. And here you can see that 26,000 has come. And now I will calculate over here integrated tax at the rate 18%. Now I Let me check what is the problem is coming. Here I need to keep the taxability exam. Okay, so yes, here in case when we do the exports under LUT and bond, so we don't need to 
deduct any kind of text. So here what I am going to do, I am going to do it in the list. Okay, so this way my entry has been completely done. Alright. Now the next question is exports taxable. Here what I am going to do, some exports are taxable and they attract integrated text. Let us see how taxable exports are recorded in Teleprime. On 2nd August 2023, Mukta Traders exported the following goods to Akash Traders of Kenya and charge integrated text. So now Mukta Traders are exporting HP Laser Printer 3 at the rate 7000. So here what I am going to do, I will add the reference number 7 slash empty. Party account name, I will create over here, Akash. Traders. Under sundry. Getter. Here I will select the country as Kenya. Now here I'll create a ledger of exports taxable, sorry, sales export taxable under sales account. Here I'll alter GST details. Here I'll add HP laser printer 00987456. Taxability, I'll keep it here taxable at the rate 18% and type of supply will be goods and that's it. Here I'll select HP laser printer, quantity is 3 at the rate 7000. Now I'll calculate integrated text, it will come out to be 3780 and the integrated text is right, correct. Alright, so this way my entry is done. Alright, now the next topic is exempted goods. Exempted goods are the goods which are not subjected to tax. The local or interstate purchase of goods exempted from GST can be recorded in Teleprime. On 1st August 2023, Mukta Traders purchased the following exempted goods from Indra Traders Bengaluru with supply and was number PUR slash 7. Here I'll open my purchase voucher over here. The supply invoice number will be PUR PUR slash 7. Alright, and it will be 2nd August. Let's keep it 1st August. 1st August. Party account name I'll trade over here Indra Traders under Sundry Trader. Here they are from Bengaluru. So I'll add the GST number. The GST number is 29 double M triple M. 1234B109Z6. Here I'll create a ledger of purchase exam under purchase account. And here I need to alter GST details. I'm purchasing stamps. And the HSN code is 970 Age of transaction here will be purchase exam. This one. Okay. And the type of supply will be goods. Here I will create a stock item of stems. Yield will be numbers. 
and here I also altered the GST details for stock items. Here I'll add stamps nine seven zero two double zero double zero. Flexibility will be exam. And here I'll add hundred at the rate two fifty will come up to be twenty five thousand. So this way no tax shall be deducted. All right. Next topic is Special Economic Zone Sales. SEZ stands for Special Economic Zone. Any outward supply goods or services made to SEZ can be recorded using sales voucher. Sales to SEZ can be like three types taxable, exempt, SEZ under LUD bond. So the first topic will be sales. SEZ sales that is taxable sales. So for this, I'll open my F8 sales voucher. 